I was like, I'll just do this. Yay. And apparently I never turned the game off, so <laughs> don't judge me. Uh, oh shit, sorry. Pressing buttons. Anyways, Dave, I hope you get your card and I hope you get your fancy uh, software. Mm -hmm. When's the sale uh, go to? Like, are you gonna have enough time? The 31st? Uh, okay. So you have like six days. Are you, are you gonna have enough time? Do you want me to get you your software? You can just pay me back if you want. You have a backup card, but it's a pain to use. It has the wrong address on it. Okay. I'm just saying, I want to make sure, you know, you are super passionate about your film stuff. So I want to make sure that you, you get the stuff that, you know, that you can know you're okay. Okay. I, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just offering. All right. Uh, yeah. Is this PlayStation controls or is this Nintendo? This is Nintendo controls. Uh, also, I put, uh, I got new sub badges past uh, one one year. So everyone gets cakes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought they were cute. I didn't make them. I bought them because I was being lazy. So you get little cakes and tarts and pastries and then uh, if I if I talk, hold on. I replaced the hearts with actual hearts, so that's my compromise. And why cakes? I don't. I have. I just like pastry, and that that was it. And they were like five bucks, so I was like, oh yeah, all right, sure, why not? I was just being lazy, and I didn't want to draw some badges on my own anymore so I was like here I'm just gonna do this all right so I got my mothership is one I caught <clears throat> I was going to catch I caught Sonia so Sanja I I don't have the thing up for anything else maybe I'll do it anyway I don't know Contact a spaceship to blast foes to pieces, so I can put that on here. And then you can get... <clears throat> Did I get the blue one? Blue whale. No. Hold on. So this is only even Nate colors blue. God. A small scan for the role, in addition to a single role of film getting developed, is at least 13 for you. You sent in like 11 rolls of film and one- Oh my god. Jeez. Yeah, that would definitely add up. Save. You gotta like... <sighs> what you need to do now is... Uh... Like, get some really... Like, your favorite photos. And then scan them or have them scanned. And then put them online and then start your own, um... Like, print shop. You know, you can make that stuff really easy where all you do is get like a cut and a like the the shops will just print it and send them out and that way you can make some money and uh to, to help with your your hobby see smart thinking frog prince iceberg i think frog prince is what i was looking for i'm actually going to to re like search it give me a second <clears throat> And that way, if you have a shop, it'll also encourage you to keep improving and get better and better and better at your, uh, at your craft. Uh, it... Chrono Cross... That's how you spell Chrono Cross. <clears throat> Walkthrough? The good thing about this game is the music is so pretty that I don't feel bad just bumbling 
like around in it. <laughs> ah, this was the one I was looking at. Characters and text. I'm gonna get blue. I'm gonna get the blue one. I think. Maybe this is not what I was looking at. Maybe it's this one. Ah, yes, Solomon Elements. <coughs> Sorry. Maybe this isn't it either. Okay, hold on, I was wrong. Maybe it's this one? Nope. Maybe this one. Ah, yes. This is it! Okay, alright, okay. Uh... Boom. <sighs> now I just have to find it. that return to earth dragon isle well why would i want to do that hold on why why oh there's bosses there oh i don't i don't i don't, I don't need that no 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 i swear this was the guide i was looking at <clears throat> Maybe you could sell your fave pick like an NFT, but actually an item? I mean, I wouldn't do NFTs, just because uh, it costs a decent amount of money to mint them. And then, you know, say you spend 30 to 50 bucks minting an NFT and then it never sells. But, you know. Also, it's bad for the environment. I'll share with you the pick and a super secret link for some- Ooh, okay, I wanna see. I'm just gonna find the thing I was looking for earlier, so give me a few minutes. Termina Viper Manor hat is optional, optional. Return to saving module. Oh, maybe. God damn it. <clears throat> Tech skills? Elements? Hmm. Maybe I have to scroll past all this. Story bosses? Optional bosses? I don't know where it was. Oh, Maybe if I... Maybe if I click this? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna need this anyway, because I get lost in this game a lot, so... What was I looking for? Frog Prince? Frog Prince. Where is it? Marvel Homeworld, a man array. No, 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 no. How do I get it? There you go. How get Frog Prince? Man to man, man array, another world. I don't know where that is. I know, but where is it? <sighs> it can be found in the El Nido Triangle Another World. Okay, that's it. That's good. I'm just going to do that. Okay, hold on. That's really nice. Can I look at this after stream, Dave? <laughs> Your username. Okay. Oh, I have frog prints. <laughs> yes, okay. All right, good. I just wanna make sure. Never mind. I have frog prints. I was I've been staring at stuff for no reason. All right, let's actually play the game. I'm a dumbass. <clears throat> oh, I know. It's an inside joke, but I yeah, it's just... Oh my god. Um... Okay, I'm actually where I need to be. Yes, let's board my boat. It's 
So we have to go to Goldove and uh, give the tier of hate. What's up? Okay. Actually, I can turn up the music. There you go. It's happy music. You get free for by six prints from Walgreens because of T-Mobile sometimes? Ten at a time. That's nice. What the rate okay? You can keep printing that photo and mailing it off, maybe. I mean, that is what Yes. Technically you could do that. That's a that's not a bad idea. <laughs> So I'm going here to give uh, um, the priestess lady my tear of hate, I think? I I don't know, I had to look it up. Hi Marsh, how you doing? Thank you for lurking. I assume you're working. Thank you, BB. I appreciate it. Lurky while you worky. Perfect. Oh wait, is this not the right world? Alright, I have to go to the other world. What should we do now? At this rate, we won't be able to borrow the dragon tear. Speaking of the dragon tear, shouldn't we return the broken tear to the shrine in the other world? The shaman in the other world might be able to help us somehow. The game told me. <laughs> Thanks, game. So we have to go to Homeworld. Does Chrono Cross have the most difficult to fo follow storyline of the RPGs you've played? Uh, um, <sighs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's both hard to follow because timey-wimey stuff and hard to know what I'm supposed to do next because such weird shit happens that I forget like, oh, I, I talked to the shaman people and they actually gave me pertinent information that I need to come back and do stuff with. So, but that just might be my fault. Also, I'm streaming it and I do, like, I get distracted. Hi, Bizarro Ham, how you doing? What's up? Even more than mana, magic... <laughs> um, you mean Legend of Mana? Legend of Mana is... So JRPGs are very abstract in their, like, old ones. Uh, because they expect you to run around and actually retain information and, you know, get clues and then just, like, talk to everything and everyone. And games nowadays don't really do that. So I forget that, you know, you're supposed to, you're kind of supposed to do that. There's plot triggers and stuff. Like, I knew there was a plot trigger for the dragon quests. I just didn't realize I didn't do it <laughs> so anyway it's it's part of its charm and like part of it part of what drives me nuts you're good you're ready for a nap but you don't want a nap why not take a nap I wish I could nap I mean I've napped and it ruined like everything ruins like naps just no good no good naps not for me because then I can't sleep at night but if it didn't ruin that then I would absolutely nap you get that biz? Yes. So that's why old games were like where you've played them and you know what you're doing, not an issue. You know what you're supposed to be doing. But for Chrono Cross, I, 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 st I tried and I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing something, you know, some timey, wimey alternate dimension stuff. I don't know what all this shit is. Look at all this shit. What is this? What do I, what do I need a prop sword for? I don't remember. 
You know, what's... I have a handle. Yay. Yes, I am. Oh, over in your sleep schedule too? I'm sorry. Well? <clears throat> Why don't you... That's the wrong button. Why don't you just, like, get comfy and just kind of, uh, you know, lounge around at least? My lips seem more accurate compared to last time. Well, I... I was saying I have the iPad... If I, like, keep looking up in this direction, like, I'm looking at, a, uh, am looking at my webcam, even though I have the iPad in between my two monitors, so I can look at this monitor and I can look at this monitor and still be kind of mostly tracked. I mean, it's not going to be 100%. I don't have a lot of room. And I was also saying, like, if it's still janky, just bear with it. I, I can only do so much. So I have, uh, you can't see it, obviously. Oh, you know what? I can show you. Hold on. I'm not gonna lie, a little jank is perfect. Well, I'm glad. Since there's not many people here right now, I'm sure I can do this and it not be a big deal. Ah! Alright, I'm uh, switching over to art real quick. Hi! Look! Wow! Wow, wow, wow. It's me! Ta-da! Don't I look beautiful? Oh, hello. Oh. How you doing? <laughs> it's gamer setup. And then... Uh, do I have anything important over here? One monitor, two monitor. So I, I can see what's going on here, kind of. I can see we're like... I don't know. It's a whole thing. And I obviously, I have it like this because my mic's right here. So if I stand the iPad up, like if I stand it up, the the, uh, the mic is hiding the, the, the camera thing of a boober. So I am trying my best. And obviously it's a little low compared to my face. So I had to like calibrate it and I'm kind of looking up. It's a whole thing. I'm trying to make it as least janky as possible so you could probably use that thing for the ultra advanced facial track I, I mean this this is the, the tracking thing like that's the I, I don't know that's the thing I mean I don't know what thing you're talking about you'd have to like link me so I could uh so I could see it but also this is a, a pre-made model so I I can only make so many faces. Ah, oh, e, you know. Do you need fancy ring for your model? No. Yeah, just feel free to like, just throw it in, like just DM me or throw it in Discord. And see, I have a habit again to like, look at the webcam, which is over there. Anyway, I hope you like my, my beautiful setup. This is, I don't know, this is what I got. Any more questions? Comments? Concerns? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Okay, thank you! Also, yeah, hi! Hello! I do, like, I still emote and wave at you guys, but you can't see it, sorry. Um, okay. We're going away now. You know what, if I got a VTuber and I learned how to rig properly, I would have a whistling mouth, because that's not a whistle. Okay. Uh, and like I said earlier, if you guys have constructive criticism or opinions that, you know, you can politely tell me, feel free, like, about this. I just, I like this because anime, and also I don't have to, like, I literally just turned on my OBS turned this on and I was done. It took like 10 minutes just to make sure I had everything working properly. It was glorious. I was like, oh my god! I could just, like, stream! <laughs> if you had a VTuber learn how to rig it properly, you'd also have a potential source of income in doing that for others. Yes! That's true. But it looks really tedious and I don't know what I'm doing at all. Why don't you learn? 
There's no harm in learning, at least, right? Anyway, this is my solution for when I feel like I get too old to show my face. I'll just be anime. Tired, old, and dead inside. Yeah, 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 I, I get you. But you gotta put effort. Which is, like, the worst thing ever, but... You gotta trick yourself into, like, doing it, you know? <laughs> Hi, Diane, how are you? Yes, little, <laughs> little demon child is back. I was just saying how much I liked not having to, like, spend an hour to get ready for stream. I just, this took 10 minutes and I was done. Anyway, how you guys doing? What's up? Can you make a VTuber of yourself? Like, photos of yourself? That would be... That would be creepy, Zave. But, yes? I think someone jokingly made XQC VTuber, like an XQC VTuber. Also creepy. Ow. No more complicated- Okay, well I'm just- I was just trying to cheer you. You know, cheer you on. Prepping for the relay this weekend? Do you have a race? Wait, uh, where, where? Where's it being streamed? What game? I'm assuming Final Fantasy VI, right? Because that's what I, I, you were playing that today. Obviously, I was looking. Uh, also, I need uh, one sec. You turn the fan up because I'm getting warm. Final Fantasy series relay starts on Friday. You're on it Sunday. Oh, obviously I have no idea what's going on then. Three teams with 16 games. Oh, that's really cool. I want to watch that. Well, thank you for letting me know. Your friend plays in tomorrow and you think we're hanging out on Saturday? Nice! I hope you guys have fun. Okay, the internet said I had to... Uh... Give this? That's not the right button. Oh, I... Okay, yes. Yay. Starts at the same time when the run is done, the next one starts. Yes, like a relay race. <laughs> Whatever team finishes first is the wiener. Do you guys get, like, a prize? Or just bragging rights? How can this be? This is without a doubt a Pierce of the Dragon tier. Surge, I shall bestow upon you the Dragon Elm eh, Emblem. It is the mark of a Dragon Shaman. Surge has been bestowed with the Dragon Emblem. The Emblem and the Dragon tier have been handed down by Dragon Shamans for generations. Although the worlds are different, you should be able to receive aid from the other shaman with this emblem. Make haste to the alternate world. Okay. Just bragging rights? Yeah, second best price after money. Yeah. Mm hmm Well, it sounds like fun. I hope you guys do good. <laughs> Alright, now we go to the other... Alternate shrine, and uh, I don't know, advance the plot, I guess. I have long lost track of this plot. <clears throat> yes. Oh yeah, forget I can speed stuff up. Dragon rights are no joke? No, they're not. I want bragging rights for something. I know we're towards the end of the game. I don't know if I'll beat it today. You're a Nintendo magazine. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's bragging rights for life. Well, I I forgot. It was a while ago. 
I was in two. I was also in a book for Super Nintendo. Like, it was a fan book published on Amazon. It was pretty fancy. It's got my art in it. Thanks. I forgot I did that. They sent me a free book. They asked for permission. I was like, uh, yes. And they're like, okay, we'll also send you the book when it's published. I was like, oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, it's pretty fancy. Uh, but that's about it. That's our fancy streamer. Yay! Wee. Okay, now they might not hate me. I'm hoping. <clears throat> oh, I have to actually, sorry, to give you, oh, wait. Oh, if we show him the emblem, we might be able to gain his trust. Yes, I meant to do that, excuse me. Would you like I uh, this? I'm assuming that that is the dragon emblem. How did a foreigner like you get a hold of it? Welcome, travelers across the dimensions. Bring them before me. Yes, if it is your wish, Miss Stina. You have permission from the chief. You may pass, foreign travelers. Where's the old lady? Hello. As promised, I will lend you the dragon tear. I shall accompany you to the fort as well. Okay, we're going to the fort. Okay. Yay. I'm not, I just want to see. Oh, white, okay. May the six dragon gods bestow protection upon we children of the planet. Can I say how impressed you were at how well I polished the labradite? I mean, you do know I did- I said it like a lot, but I want to make sure you know I- I did coat it in UV resin by the time I finished with it because I could only get it to like a satin sheen and not- and not like a super shine. I actually spent the last half hour before stream polishing a keycap because <laughs> I want to learn how to polish things properly. It still look good? You want to see it again? Sorry, I'm excited. It's so pretty. I wish the person who gave it to me gave me permission to say they gave it to me, but they haven't said anything. <clears throat> Thank you, Zay, for the Labradite. <laughs> It's really pretty. But I did get a pretty good polish on it, just not good enough. Does that mean you recognize any of the sharpening instruments in Kiwami Japan knife making videos? I, I don't know, I've never seen those videos. Right now, I'm... This is ridiculous, but I'm trying to learn how to, uh... Specifically, polish keycaps. To a shine. Because right now, to get shiny keycaps, I coat them very, very slowly in a gloss. Let it dry and do a few coats, and then I cast them. And while that's good, I'm going for, like... I want better. Dragon Fort is... Hold on, I don't remember which one I'm supposed to go do. You have a link to that channel in Discord? You think you should see at least two or three? Okay, I will. But basically, I'm trying to figure out how long I need to... Like, I understand the grit system, but I need to know how long I sand with each grit, and basically, you know, what I need to do to get to the super shiny steps. You have an idea of it? Okay. 
Uh, give me a second while I look something up, cause... Cause I am bad at paying attention to what I need to do. Okay, home world. Home world. <clears throat> I am in the home world. Yes. Great. Do I still want Sprig in my party? Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, wait, what? I can just run through this? I had no- <laughs> I had no idea! Oh my god. Yeah, the internet exists. Alright. Let's get our butts, uh, butts kicked. I need to- oh. Place the dragon tier here. The fort shall open itself up for you. I remember this stupid fort. It's a nail file block that goes up and steps to a shine. Oh, I mean, look. Oh, oh geez. And I don't have. I need to make my stuff a little bit nicer. Hi. Sorry, my camera's in the way. If you see these, I have. I have lots of different sandpaper. This was 600, 800, 1000, 1200, 15, 2000, 25, 3000, and then I have. Um, some more fancier sandpaper I can use, so that's- so far I've sanded this to with uh, 600 and then 800 grit, so should be good. Come on. Also, I would absolutely destroy those blocks. Hi, my kryptonite. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Do I have to... Oh! No, 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 I, I want to look around. No, hold on. Hold on. What's over here? I can't remember if I've been in this one. Have I been? Is this the one I was in? There's a treasure chest. I haven't been in these. There's no monsters. I... <laughs> See, the problem is, <laughs> I didn't realize till halfway through the game I had a uh, homeworld and alternate dimension turned off, so I never knew which version of the world I was in, so... I'm doing good, good! Hi Neon Coffee Cat, how you guys doing? Welcome to Super Chill Bumbling Around in Chrono Cross. Now do I want to really do this? Are there treasures in here that matter? Oh, this is the feet one, right? Uh. Pet tailed and bumped. Running around in the circle for no reason, I am. Alright. 
super chill bumbles are good. Good. Cool level design. I... Uh, I just want to, like, beat the game. So, I... I'm just gonna peek in these rooms real quick. And, um, and then we'll continue on. This is the kind of stuff that I would, like, if I'm playing it in bed, I'd be like, ooh. Stupid stuff, let's do it. This was... Okay, is there stuff in here? Oh, that's right. This is just to go around in circles. This also went around in circles. Okay. Treasure. I got an iceberg. I'm assuming that's an element. It is. Hails large chunks of ice down on foes. I like having diminish. It was just less than one iceberg. Okay. Is the music too loud? Should I turn it down? Chrono Cross kind of runs loud a bit, and sometimes, you know, that's okay because the music's great, but sometimes it's a little rough. Thank you for following. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Can go no I can't. What's this one do? What no. If I open you. Okay. That's great. Uh no no, that's not what I meant to do at all. There you go. Cool. Come on. Do you matter? Ah! Did I don't okay, fight me. Sure. <laughs> Gurgoyle. Cybot. Did I fight these before? I don't remember. I figured out what I, uh, uh oh yeah, where is it? Me. You see, okay. I figured out what this is. This is auto battle. That's what this is. So then I don't have to press anything. It's great. Yeah, <laughs> I did it by accident again and I was like, oh my god, why is everyone just beating the shit out of everything. No! Auto battle's great! Except when I get her. Not so great then. You want to see some- I don't- oh, I don't wanna, I wanna do summons. Every fight, I actually have legitimately not summoned anything. I haven't done it. I just told you guys I figured out what it was and I was like, oh That is auto battle Well, don't you have to have like a full like color field for the summons to go off or something? Oh I god damn it. I got so upset about summons. I didn't I didn't heal the right person. Oops. B. 
beaten earth. Oh my god, I was not paying attention to that at all. I don't like you. I'm gonna beat you up too. Yeah, take that. Oops. There are elements like blue field that turn the whole field blue and- Oh! Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Do I have that? As you can tell, I've been doing a very, uh, casual playthrough. I have turned blue? <laughs> eh. Uh... Got, I, I've got traps just coming out my ears. Yeah, no, I don't know. Thank you. So legit for this, <laughs> I've been playing this game over like two or three months. I took a month off last month, last um, in July. So my memory of what was going on in this game, uh, not the best. What happens if I, what about if I, So I mainly decided I was going to replay this because obviously it's a uh, remaster and I wanted to be like, yes, plot, but I don't remember any of the plot, you know. Once I got like to the um, Sea of Eden, I was just like, why am I here? What's going on? I don't know. It's been so long since you played Hollow Knight, you forgot what to do? Oh, tell me. Tell me where you're stuck. I haven't beaten Hollow Knight yet, although that's the thing I have to do. But I haven't done it because I really love the game and I don't want to beat it. <laughs> I can help you. You created a monster, Zave, when you, you introduced me to Hollow Knight. Just letting you know. You, what's the last thing you did? Most new games you play on the hardest difficulty right off the bat because you love to suffer? Uh, I know someone like that. I'm just gonna run around here for a hot second. But if you enjoy games on, like, hard mode, there's nothing wrong with that. I play games to, uh, relax. And being frustrated is not relaxing for me, so... I just play on normal mode, usually. Okay. I'm gonna run around here for a hot sec. Yes. Mm. Although, after playing Hollow Knight, there were some games I played, like, um, Cult of the Lamb. I was like, oh, yeah, this is gonna be, you know, it's gonna be difficult, and it's not. Hollow Knight has shaped me up. I still need to not go this way. Wait, is there anything else I need to go? Yeah, you like to challenge yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. What is this? I still have to do, um, in Hollow Knight. So the latest thing, the last thing I did was, uh, Nightmare King Grimm. Which... <laughs> was not easy, let me just say. That took me eight hours to do. Uh, it was five hours straight one day, and then three hours straight the next day. And I... I was determined to beat that bastard, and I did. Uh, and now I need to... I need to do the Coliseum of Fools, the third one. I need to attack Zote. He's got all his forms. I need to beat the game. And, uh... Okay, I need to be here. There's also the Path of Pain, which is, um... It's daunting. I'll just say that. Okay. Oh, I can't. I gotta. I have to search. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to like progress the story, but I just need to look. I'm sorry. My subtitles are way more accurate than at the start when we had them. Maybe they uh, 
Maybe they update it? Maybe I'm speaking more clearly now. Maybe DDR will make you accidentally buff like how Hollow Knight actually made you pro at platform. I'm not a pro at platformer, but I definitely like I mean, my skill level definitely, it got better. And the game's so damn good that I was willing to put in the effort for the stupid, god. Some of those things were so, it just took so long to do. Really? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, excuse me. No, I want to go. I want to move past, please. Let me buy. Fine. Fight me. He's barely making misses now? Uh. Well, that's weird. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I do realize. <laughs> I mumble a lot, so I'm trying to... I mean, not today, but I've been trying to enunciate better. More words. Me speaking the words very clear now. Yeah. Is there a closed caption Twitch tag? I mean, <laughs> save, I can write anything for a Twitch tag if I want. So, yes. Actually, I can... I'll, uh... Oh, auto battle? This is when it's good. Yeah, you can. They got rid of, um... Put closed captions in here. Do, 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 do. CC. Oh, shit, what'd you do? Ah, oh, fuck, stop. <laughs> okay. Oh, the machine's gonna kick my ass. Um, so they originally had five tags you could put in from just a giant list of tags they had listed, which made sense, you know. Uh, and now they increased the tag amount to ten, but they got rid of the list, and you can just willy-nilly write whatever you want. What I wish they did is they kept the five that you can choose from, right? So I always had like no backseating, casual playthrough, retro, you know, whatever. And then they gave you five more as like extra flare tags that you could just put your own stuff in there. So I'm, you know, I'm like chill stream, you know, chit chat, whatever. That's what they should have done, but they didn't. That way you have like uh, a bunch of, you know, pre-made tags that you can actually search by. Uh, and then just have some, like, I would I would consider them, like, flares, you know? Okay, I don't want to do this. I'm good. It's too smart. <laughs> I just don't know why they didn't... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you think there's a battle? Should I save? Yeah, I'm gonna save. I'm nervous. Just like I think they should have, um, like, auto-translate in chat. I don't know how hard that would be to implement, and I wouldn't want a chat full of just foreign language, because obviously it would be janky as hell. But I think it still would be nice if you get, like, a foreign message, you can just click translate and be like, oh, that's what they said. It's a little toothy. Heh. So you finally made it. But this is as far as you will get. It's a little too soon for you to get your original form back. Oh, I'm glad I saved. Especially if the person watching doesn't understand your replies. I just think it would be a neat feature. It might not be useful, but I still think it would be, like, neat. And there's some, like, dual language streams so if you're like saying a stream that 
streamer that speaks Spanish and English, you could un you could join and understand the rest of chat, you know. All right, Dark Surge is dark. <laughs> but I'm saying I also understand that it would probably be probably be difficult. But it also could be like a thing where say you go you watch a Japanese streamer and you start learning, you know, hiragana and katakana. I think it could have its uses. Look, stop it. Oh, you bitch. There's a lot of features that BTTV uh, gives me that I don't real I like I didn't realize was BTTV and not Twitch. <laughs> you should hire me. Yes, hire me, Twitch. Give me money, thank you. I am starving artist I need, please. Um. Oh, what's imbecile? Magic power? I'm gonna make you stupid, but it's a dark element, never mind. Like for a BTTV, if you press up in the chat window, it'll show like the last message you sent. And if you press up again, you'll get the, the message before that. You can do it a few times, and that's... It's actually kind of come in handy. Yeah. It didn't work for a day or two, but it, they fixed it, so... Alright, can you please turn into a, a giant monster? Thank you. you. You should be able to, yeah. BTTV has some, like, nice quality of life fixes. So much so that I... Jeez. But I, I kind of forgot that they were BTTV. And not part of Twitch. And then it's got some weird stuff. You can make chat scroll, uh, upwards. Oh, we got greens? I don't have a green summon, though. Oh. I attack you. Here, heal, please. Oh. Yeah, try BTTV. Let me know how it works out for you. Beat the shit out of you. Just die, stupid. Alright. You don't hit as hard as you used to. Okay. Cannonballs? That's so good. Ha! You stop beating on him. Uh, what can I use here? Physical evade. I, you know what? Maybe you want to avoid physical stuff. First time you've seen <laughs> is this the first time you've seen BTTV work? Congrats. Wow. I don't think this is gonna heal much, but it's been years, first time ever. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Uh
I just, I'm using too much healing, but I don't care. That's glorious. I'm glad. Oh, you're weak! Beat you up. We're gonna smack you. Smack. Ah, oh, smack. Uh, oh, God damn it! You never let me get another thing in. No, don't touch. Don't touch her. Leave her alone. Stop it. Ah. All right, it's pretty. You keep dying, and it, it makes me upset. My one revive, please don't die. Thank you. Just beat him up some more. Just. And then, uh, I didn't see how much he's healed for, but we're gonna. Cheeks hurt from smiling? Also, you can uh, have it... Like, I have it so... you. I think you guys hear the little dinks when you uh, use my name. It lets me know when people are trying to get my attention. Ow. <sighs> Perfect Pendragon sigil. Impressive. I may have underestimated you. Anyway, I must get on with my affairs. Besides, it's too late. Goodbye, Serge. Wah, 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 wah. Fargo looks like Negan. Is that a... I have no idea who that is. <laughs> also, hi, Xanderlis. How you doing? You have to write two syllabuses, syllabi, for the class you're TAing for, you have no idea what you're doing. The Walking Dead! <laughs> for some reason I thought the, it, was, it was called Tegan, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm wrong, I don't know. I've never watched The Walking Dead, I'm sorry. You linked Kiwami Japan to you in Discord? You'll be in for a treat, you can see it. Your relief in your future enjoyment is a firm one. Okay, thank you. I do appreciate it. I'll watch it. I'll watch it by this weekend at least. After stream, I have a. Oh, I have to take pictures and stuff. I pressed the button, I didn't mean to. You know if you need help. We have a bunch of meetings this week for TA and grad school stuff. And you feel like a drunk baby having a bucket of Legos pour <laughs> poured on my head, just being told to catch all of them and figure out the rest. Hmm. Okay. That's a. That is an analogy. I'm sorry, Tato. Good luck. You'll figure it out. You're cute and charming, right? Just be cute and charming. Problem solved. Promise that if, like, everyone's nice to you, you'll grade them easier. This is not the right way. In this game, you go through this, this section three times. <laughs> I'm not saying it's good advice, but... Uh, I, I just have to... 
Yeah, unless it's important surgeries. Yeah, if you're a surgeon, please don't do that. Apparently, you just get to choose when your office hours are? I guess. Go with it. Anti-white. Mm. Bribe early and bribe often. Exactly. There's something here, right? No. You used to bribe your teacher with glazed donuts? Really? It worked? I... I... No, I didn't bribe my teachers. I politely asked my teachers if I could doodle over my papers and stuff. If that was like an issue. And they are like, no, that's fine. And I was like, okay, thank you. I will still do the work. Oh, I went this way. What am I doing? I'm sorry. I didn't see this. I had a good time for everyone, and you realize no one is gonna come anyway, and you'll just go with whatever works. Yeah, works. What, do what works for you. If things, like, work in your favor, then you can start working stuff out. You didn't ask the thing you just doodled? Hi, Cyborg Pride. I, to be fair, eventually I just doodled too. I just learned to uh, put like different sections on the paper for doodles. Oh, Serge, you must proceed alone from here. You must see and confirm for yourself who you really are. Truth shall manifest itself once you believe in your heart. Box off the doodles? I kind of did that. I just made sure they weren't anywhere near, like, important information. Unless the important information was me doodling that I didn't know the, the answer. <laughs> Hello. All life on this planet was born in the sea. The life form softly slumbered within the womb of our mother ocean. Until eventually they developed free will and were able to swim about the ocean freely. Then there came those that, not satisfied with life in the water, looked up from the ocean floor towards the blue skies and dreamt of the dreamt of the feel of the land. Aeons passed before the, their preposterous dream became a reality, and they rose up from the seas onto the earth. The land became full of all kinds of creatures. Among these, <laughs> among these, the dragon lizards and the more evolved reptites thought they would reign over the earth forever. And for a long while, it seemed that they would. However, the unforeseen coming of the Mighty One from the heavens suddenly smashed their kingdom to pieces. The one known as Lavos, the Great Crimson Flame. Wielding absolute power, Lavos buried the dinosaurs, the kings of the land, in the space of a night. Actually, Azala was a lady, so... However, the timid apes who had lived hidden in the forests came into contact with the Crimson Flame that fell from the sky and evolved into humans. Perhaps this was not evolution, but transformation. Regardless, humans increased in number and filled the earth. The fearsome, fearsome progeny of Lavos, just like their progenitor, began to devour a mother planet.
Is it better? Is it more exp Oh shit. It's Tato. Oh, ugh. Again. You're not a demon panther. That's secretly your father. Oops. Spoilers. <laughs> Damn, I'm not hot. Tato. Hey, look, I somehow got my clothes back, too. Surges! Surge. Yay. Drew back, don't act up. Or else what? I don't know, I don't... Zave is scary sometimes, you gotta be careful. Surge. You have regained your identity without being led astray. Your eyes, which foresaw the truth, shall help you, help you to regain your trust among your comrades. There is nothing we can do about the Dragon Tear. Its shattering does not come as a surprise. However, you also carry the fate of the dragon tear from another world. I do. The broken piece of love and hate, although contradictory, they are two sides of the same coin. A mysterious force may come to light when the two pieces are united. Oh. Perhaps this force will be the legendary Chrono Cross. Oh. The only problem is the shrine, which is said to give life to the Chrono Cross, is nothing but a cavern inside Dra Divine Dragon Falls. Surge, you may hold the key to bringing forth its powers. Okay. The dragon tear shattered, but transformed into the tear of love. Cool, yay, I'm human again. One free set of clothes in your new body. Ah, T today only. Oh. Oh. The quick age thing reminds you of an old sci-fi movie, Star Child? Star Man? I, ha I haven't seen either of those. Did I ever tell you about the time you saw someone that looked exactly like you and your first thought was, Damn, that guy's ugly! No, Tato! No! Oh, no. <laughs> no, you haven't. Also, I meant to, like... I wanted to make sure there's nothing in that room. Excuse me. That's okay. I went to take photos of myself today, like just some selfies, because I got the prequel app briefly, and I was like, oh, I'll do like cute cartoon stuff. And no matter what I did, I looked like a potato, and I was just very upset. I was like, this is not it. All right, there's nothing in here. Can I turn back into the cat man? So don't feel bad. Today was apparently a potato day for me. And I was just like, all right, fine. <laughs> all right, so now we leave and we... Uh, okay, hold on. Combine tier... Find these two things? Tear hate and tear love. In the Divine Dragon Falls? I was so like I was reading what they were saying and then I was half reading chat and I just did not take in anything. As usual. Hey Wapop! 
How are you doing? You like the VTuber? This is, uh, like, a public use one. Like, I bought it, but, like, anyone can use it if they buy it. It's my tiptoe into VTuber-ness. So, I thought she was adorable. So, thank you. How are you doing? You can never smile for a photo probably without looking like a psychopath or you're about to cry. You can't smile for a photo either. You look bad. You look best when stoic. If I don't smile, I look my age. So, I'm always smiling or making goofy faces. It hides the... The facial sagging. <laughs> and there you go. Some hints for you when you get older. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't look at the camera in pictures? I mean, to be fair, I've always made funny faces when, I, when people uh, take pictures of me. I don't know why. I think it's because I feel really awkward if I'm being serious in a photo. come from? No, it's up there. But anyway, I'm glad you like the VTuber. I think she's adorable. I have two other ones. I, I've shown them before, so I didn't feel like bothering everyone again, but if people want to see them again, I can show you. You just have to say so. I got a few, because I was like, I don't know which one I want. This one, I think, has really good movement for just a pre-made. You know? Yeah, it's demon mommy. <laughs> it's demon mommy and slime. That's what you used to do, but then you start feeling like you're ruining other people's photos, so you stop now and you don't know how to be normal in photos. That's... that's fair. It would drive my mom nuts. She's like, you're pretty, take a, let me take a picture. I'm like, no, mom, I'm gonna make a crazy face. So, I don't know. Hmm. Whee! And eventually I want to learn to make my own VTube doobers. I think that'd be fun. But that's something I'm going to do very slowly. So I learn it properly, as opposed to how I've learned a lot of other programs. You ask me how I use Photoshop or Clip Studio or anything, and I'm like, I don't know. I just press buttons and stuff happens. <laughs> can you make a confession? Of course you can. You never learn how to tie your shoes? You want me to show you? It's super easy. Did I just save? I can show you the super easy way to tie shoes. You have those cool vel vel velcro light up shoes as kids you never learned. You can't ride a bike? That one is... Um... That's one that just kind of like you learn and it snaps into place. I don't know how else to describe it. Just suddenly, it just, you just know how to ride a bike. It's just like, oh, okay, I get it. You started crying in the middle of the night because you didn't know how to tie your shoes and everyone had to teach you? <sighs> when you went to get new shoes, you Googled a video and figured it out for like five minutes, but you always forget it. Did you learn the normal or like the, the bunny ears way? Because the bunny ears way is, is the simple one. You don't have balance while walking? That would probably make learning to ride a bike a bit harder. But I, I mean, it's not really like an essential skill, you know? Just start crying and someone will teach you. Are you telling me? Hold on. Are you telling me you tie your shoes, Tato, and then never untie them? Oh my god. <laughs> Whatever works. Um, I'm gonna hang out here for a second. Yes, yes, okay. That's not what I do. Why would you untie them? I don't know. I mean... Because I like having my shoes tight. Alright, let me... So I don't wander around, I'm just gonna look at what I have to do next. It's easier. Go to Dragonia. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh shit, I can- hold on, I can recruit someone. Take the elevator down to the incubators that we're not working before. 
Do I have a big egg? Hold on. Oh, I gotta go back. I'm gonna get another character that I won't use. Very excited. Hold on. So I can... It's just I can go down? Oh, I, okay. I think I just pressed buttons without realizing it. Alright, hold on. Oh, I probably could have... Oh, well. Next? Where? Hello? Okay, hold on. Just go to the Sea of Eden? Maybe I should read this, and then I'll read this after I do this. Okay. We're good. You need them tight or it feels like- yeah, it feels like they're gonna f like fall off my feet. I actually have the problem where I tie my- I tie my shoelaces too tight, so after about an hour my feet get kind of sore because I'm cutting off circulation. So I'm actually trying to learn to not wear my shoes as tight. Can I... No. Huh. Go down. Hey. Alright. <laughs> Save. Some kind of device. It's still operational. Do I put it in here? See, like, I forgot where I got the big egg from. I, I don't know. I just... I have a big egg. What a good sleep! Good morning! Huh? Where did everybody go? My big brother! Oh, my big sister! My kid brother! And my little sister. Where did they all go? Are you my mother? Yes. Really? <laughs> you look more like a father to me. <laughs> Will you take me to mother and father? I've got a literal baby. I am stealing not only children, but babies. I am a good person. <laughs> Alright, Sprig, I'm gonna... Oh, I get my people! Glenn! Yay! You're not frog, but I'm gonna pretend you are. Hi, Virgil Virgo, how you doing? You remember needing to get a pair of nice shoes to match a new suit a few years ago? And the tailor that helped you with your suit handed you a pair of untied laces. It was like, uh, try these, and you're like, uh. <laughs> hey, you're adorable. This is adorable. Oh my god. You're not stealing, you're forcefully giving them a new home? But they're a baby! Alright, I don't know if Glenn's any good anymore, but I liked having Glenn in my party, and that's what I want. You're good, how am I? I'm doing good. Where is everybody? They must be around somewhere. Where? Where? Where are you? I know. They all probably left the fort. And are playing outside. I'm good. I stole a child. I'm I'm stealing a baby dragon child. I'm gonna make him fight for me. Mm-hmm. Uh alright, I need to equip uh Glenn with stuff. 
You're literally hoping that not tying is covered in some not theory class for your degree and the potato, it's do I have string around here? It's fairies. Do you know how to braid hair? Hold on. I have to have some string around here somewhere. You don't know how to braid hair. Alright, hold on. Oh my god. Let's see. String. Oh. Hmm. Hold. Hold, please. There's a lot of stuff in the way now, like this camera. Hi. Sorry, my camera's uh, heavy and the thing doesn't want to stay up. Yeah, Velcro does exist. You see, you better pay attention. All right, pay attention. You know how to do this, right? Can you do this? How did I pull it apart so easily? Well, look, here's a shoe. Again, you can see me here. I'm my camera's in the way of stuff. All right, so you can you can just tie it. You know how to tie it like this, right? So this part you got down. I need to make sure you uh, confirm this. <laughs> All right. Go get your shoe and follow along. That might help. Okay. So there's two ways you can tie it. I don't know which one you're learning. The, the one that you learn as a kid is the uh, bunny ears. So your foot's in here. Don't worry about this one. Take it. All right. You make one bunny ear. All right. You see what? All right. Finagle however you need to. You might have issues because you have a bad hand. You take this one. All right. Now you have two bunny ears. Are you with me so far? Does this make sense? Just let me know when you confirm. <laughs> okay, bunny ears. All right, it's been so long since I've done this. You take one, okay, you cross them over. Okay, so now you have bunny ears that are crossed over. Make sense? You take it. Cross them over. So what you're doing is you're taking each little loop and you're, make, you're making sure you have this loop here. Just take them, cross them over. The thumb holds it all together. You take one bunny ear. I'm going to do it again. All right. So the under bunny ear is the one I'm going to take. You put it through the hole in the middle. And you pull tight. And that's it. Don't you, don't you change the title, I swear to God. Okay, that's it. That's the bunny ear method. Obviously, I can do it faster because I've been tying my shoes for a while. I also know how to braid hair. That's it. And then you just have to practice the hand motions. The other way most people do it is they just... I would grab this... How did you pull it? 
without it pulling out the non-bunny part? Are you saying like when I put it together? Make really big bunny ears. <laughs> Hi caveman, how you doing? We are gonna go back to Chrono Cross, promise, just uh I make it big. I'm still holding all of this, so I'm not letting go of this at all. So I can move this around and it won't, you know, it won't depart. So now I have it, you know, through the loop. Let go. That's it. I don't I don't know what the I don't know what the issue with that is. Do it twice? To, yeah, I mean, you can do it twice. It, but then you actually have to physically pull it apart. The other method is this one. So I hold it in this hand. Basically, I don't even think about how I do this. Well, how do I do this with, like, thinking? I'm basically using all my fingers to make loops, and instead of making this a loop, I'm like bondage lassoing this single bunny ear. And then you see it, obviously, because I looped it over, there's a hole right there. Obviously, you don't let anything go, everything stays tight, kind of. So now I'm switching over and I'm pulling this side through, instead of pulling it all the way through, I'm pulling it to the loop. That makes sense? I feel like every time you try to do the final pull, you pull out the aglet instead of the knot. Well, just practice it. Do it fast. Or get like a- uh, get longer shoelaces. That's it. That's how you tie your shoes. You might be- let me see if I- let me try to do it wrong. So if you're pulling it out like this, it's because you're pulling- you're, you need to make sure you- This is so silly. Pinch it and pull. So you're evenly pulling on both uh, parts of the tie. Okay? So if you do the bunny ears, obviously you do it nice and slowly, you know, you get it cross over, take this through the little hole. Alright? Even if you let go now, it shouldn't be much of an issue, at least with my shoelaces. Make sure they're pinched. There you go. Okay. That's how you, uh, that's how you tie a shoe. <laughs> Simplest way. You could velcro like a boss. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with tying with bunny ears. I just forgot, like, I don't know, I just learned to do it this way. But again, I can braid hair, so... I have kind of like the finger dexterity to do that. Feel like you have half the amount of lace available? Look, I don't know what your shoelaces are like. Alright, now if you're like, I don't want- well, I mean, if I pulled them, you know what I mean? They're gonna get big, but if I want them like, I don't know, even bigger. You could pull on the parts that pull this part of the lace through, which is probably what your issue is. And you have really big ass bunny ears. All right, that is the uh, that is the lace tying intermission. I hope it helps. Do you have big stompers? You think most of the laces pulled to fit these feet? Just get larger laces then. I mean, that's just a legitimate issue. Back them out of yeah, that works. But yeah, having eh. yeah, having too much sh or not enough shoelace is it actual. It's an actual issue. So fix that one. So <laughs> yes, they do. All right. The size eleven. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Shoe sizes. My feet are seven and a half. So. Hey, Nice, how you doing? What's up? Extra wide. 
I don't need to know this, Taylor, thanks. <laughs> Alright. You guys talk about your shoes. I forgot, I was looking at Fort Dragonia. So I did this, I did this, I did this. Wah, 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 wah. Um. So now it says go to the Sea of Eden? In your home world, okay. Turn to the Dead Sea Ruins. You'll need to interact with one of the three glowing points of fate distortions. Okay. I feel bad that I'm using a walkthrough, but. You're doing? I heard you woke up super early. I'm sorry. Fate distortion? Can I do stuff? Am I supposed to do stuff? Oh. Oh. I deem you worthy of entering the Sea of Eden. Let the path be known for the ones facing their fate. Seven, so I'm a, I'm a six in men. Oh, hey! Because I wear seven and a half because I have wide feet. Or actually, I wear an eight because I have wide feet. Seven and a half if I can manage it. Past. Oh. Is there anything else here? Future? I don't remember this at all. Present. Okay. Picked out an eleven. Present fate closer. So, spinning the thread of life. Okay. It's 1.5. Jesus? The cheeses? I don't know. Measuring the thread of life. Cutting the thread of life. Art thou worthy of accepting a fate? Oh. Oh shit, I forgot to die! <laughs> I forgot to equip Glenn. I was so, uh, I was very much preoccupied with showing Taylor how to tie his shoe. Are we being tested? No. No! You think- oh, you know, I could run away! This game lets me run away! Oh my god. Ugh. I kinda wanna try, though. I oh, I just- Surge is- No, I'm running away! Surge has nothing on him either! I just assumed he was going to, uh... He was going to be equipped. Great. Let me try this again in a minute. Hi. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh. <sighs> Did I lose all my cool stuff because I turned back into me? No. 
No, I didn't. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna take a minute or two. Proves evade. I don't remember what I had on me. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Hold pendant? Fence, fence. Stuff. Uh, I need to equip you. Bone sword. Okay. Copper sword? No. Iron sword? Silver sword? Stone, not, not bone. That's the higher one. What? Stone swallow sounds like... I'm not reading that out loud. <laughs> I need to make stuff for people. I also need to unequip my- wow, okay, sorry, hold on. I swear to god, Tato. Who, uh... Uh... Spring. Here you go. Can I just remove stuff? Yeah. There you go. Equip you. Equip you. Stone. Orange is good. Yes. You sound familiar? Who sounds familiar? Did he wasn't wearing a bone helmet? Alright. I feel like these help. I don't know if they do, but I'm sticking with it. Do you want to be a Vady? Do you want to... Uh, um... Oh, stone helmet. There you go. And elements. And it sucks. Do I? Hmm. Rearrange elements in all grids to cheat. Do, does that do it for everybody? Surge only. I have two revives. stuff. I just want lots of cures. Meteor shower. Increase your magic defense. Decrease the defense. I know. I still have, um, uh, fart face. Fargo. Fargo's good. He's all, I don't know, he's got stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I basically allocate and then I just put on, like, uh, healy stuff because that's pretty much all I care about doing is healing. It is important that I don't die. <laughs> and that I can remove- <laughs> yes, fart face! I forgot what his name was! That I, uh, I just put on the healing stuff and- what is this? Why can't I put this on? What is this? Why you no work? That works. Alright. Weaken. Strong people are scary. Oh, heal alls. I need a million of those. Where is green? Nimble, numble. Do you have them all? Glenn, do you have heal all? It's because you're green. Anti yellow. Seals yellow elements. Does that mean they can't? Cast yellow? I assume that's what it means. Got a lot of heal. Revive. More healing. Heal all. Free fall, free fall. 
Oh yeah, I want diminish. Hey. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot I need to. Just in case. Allocate. That's not the right button. Oh, I hate this so much. Please work. Fill in the blanks. There. There they are. Uh, so Surge... Uh, turned back into Surge, but he just got his clothes and had no equipment on him. Or spells. And then since I switched Glenn, uh, Spring out for Glenn, I forgot to do the same thing for him. So I went into a boss battle with just Fargo um, equipped with stuff. So now I'm doing the fun shuffle of equipping everything as fast as I can. But it's, you know, it takes a minute. Basically, I'm trying to make sure I have... God damn it! I keep pressing L and R to go further on his stupid chart and it just gets me to the next person. There you go. I was showing Tato how to uh, tie a shoe. Oh, hi, OJ. How you doing? Diminish. Do you have diminish on you? Oh, Luminaire. I forgot I had that. Unicorn. Saints! Oh my god, look at these fancy things. Oh, so fancy. I swear to god. Okay, hold on one second. I'm almost done. Tato didn't know how to technically uh, tie a shoe, so I was showing him the, uh, the bunny ear method. I just need to know who has what on them. You're the one that has it. Okay, we're good. This is fine. Everything's good. We're gonna leave real quick. Excuse me, ma'am. I'll fight you in a second. I'm gonna, s I'm gonna save. <laughs> and then I can do this. And I can make, uh, possibly. Woo! Pressing buttons. No. Glenn? Glenn, where are you? Where are you on the chart? There you are. Silver stone sword. Make you stone sword. There you go. Yes. And then, uh... Yeah, I can't wear my shoes like slippers. I need them tight on my feeties. Like, they're never coming off. Stone mail? Stone, stone mail for everybody? No, stone mail for you. Accessories. That's good. Now we equip. Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't even see. Oh. You had. Oh, never mind. I didn't need to make that. You just have the Iron Lancer. Whatever. Oh, my evade goes down though. That's alright. How loose of you see are your shoes if you think they're flying off? Yeah, I need my shoes to be tight. Alright, let's try whatever this battle is. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. You go to work barefoot if they let you? I have chronic tendonitis in my ankles, so I wear inserts. Are we being tested? How about boots don't have laces? Boots are different. Good boots just fit.
Okay. Blue Vita Tress. What am I? Oh, it's just maybe just one. Okay. You're blue. Don't smack me. I just came back to being human. That's very rude. You hit for a lot. Ha! Huh. Oh, I wanted to do stuff. Call flip flops thongs? Yes. My mom, who is not Australian, also does that for some reason. It's very confusing. I do it just in case. Yes. I know that one too. Uh everyone's good ish. Maybe, maybe heal surge? Oh look at all these cure pluses. Here you go, Surge. Don't die. I call beanies? He swears that his proper name for them, even though the French use that name. What, that Rasto, uh, uses? Yes, but Zave's in. You're blue. Red? Oh. Hold on, I have cool stuff I want to use. Oh, I see! Why? This makes me nervous. Don't do anything. Okay, so I can only use this. Is all. I'll wait. Ah. All right. Focus energy on swallow and hurl yourself at foe. Yes. Let's let's do that. You make me nervous. Oh, this is... <coughs> oh. Excuse me. like it. Thank you, caveman. Thank you, Bizarre Ham. OJ. <laughs> you have a uh, cool, cool stuff on here. What do you get? Oh, I forgot I could do an uh, X-ray. I'm not going to, but I can. Oh, you know what? It's me mismanaging my stamina. He hits like a freaking truck! Jesus! Ah, uh, 
I th I think he does. Let me check. I made sure everybody has all the stone stuff. Ooh, a diva dress. After I ran around and got all the dena dena dorite or whatever. I'll check in a minute. He has stone sword, stone mail, stone helmet. He's got the Einlanzer, stone, and stone. He's got... Everybody's got stone. I didn't put any stone on him. Oh yeah, diva dress. I'm assuming that's for a lady. I don't have any ladies in my party. Yes. Has anything beaten the dog yet? Yeah, I have... I don't know. I don't know uh, excuse me, I need to um, burninate myself. There you go. Anyway, I just have Fargo in my party because he reminds me of Cyan. And I have Glenn in my party because of Chrono Trigger. Stone weapons auto crit? Matter type enemies? What's a matter type enemy? I had no idea. Well, that's cool! Feel free to tell me fun facts that I am absolutely oblivious about. At least with this game. I have no problem. Oh, machine! That was a machine? I mean, I guess that was a machine. It was just some creepy floating head to me, though. Okay, okay. Stone versus machine. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Oh, I know what you're talking about now. Future ruins. Chronopolis. <laughs> rock versus laptop. The rock is winning, I suppose. All right, so this is where this is where Serge and his father and his friend arrived, and then Serge's father turned into a panther demon or something, and then Serge became the arbiter of fate or something, and then his father's friend ended up staying here or something. We're planning to use buffing type elements like magnify. <laughs> You can use them on lower element grids without a penalty, since their duration is turn-based and not spell power based. I have no long how I, I don't know how long their duration is. The game doesn't tell me. But that's good to know. I'm just kinda YOLOing with everything and seeing if if I live, I assume it's working. <laughs> Terrible, I know. I usually like knowing what I'm doing in a game, but in this one I'm just like, eh. Does this work? Maybe. Oh, it's like really long. Okay. Well, that's. But. Uh. Blah, blah, blah. Let me check something. Let me find magnify. Aren't they. Do I have magnify in here? AP base? Okay. I mean, I can put these anywhere, right? Yeah, alright. Well, I'm still just gonna just run in and smash. You're filling out job location today, and one of them froze on you, and you're too lazy to start over. So, yes, that job is out. That's a terrible attitude. Just take a, a break and refill it out. Okay. You had to fill out some forms like four times in a row and almost pop like a balloon. See, this is stuff I never would have known. Oh shit. I heard Group B's experiment today is going to be a biggie. 
They're releasing the flame's lock level to D in order to trace the counter time effect. Yeah, but based on previous experiments, I'm sure it'll work out just fine. During the simulation, fate was certain the flame could be used as a relay to extract enough energy to counteract the anti-annihilation effect. Don't worry, it'll be a success. I hope so. So time stuff happened, and then like a time crash happened, and then just shit went bonkers. That's what I read. You could put on one and save lots of stamina? I could! I could. Can I put diminish on one? That's the one I use. Not I kind of forgot stamina is a whole thing. I just- oh shit. I just do stuff and then... Eh. That's as far down as I can go. Well that's kind of neat. Interesting. I'm not gonna use this. Why? I don't... Can I? Oh, I can! Man minus two, though. Okay. <laughs> I probably should have experimented. Not bad. You played the four other jobs today, and you don't really want this one anyways, just doing it to do it? Oh, the pods company? That place costs an arm and a leg, but it's good. Well, don't apply for stuff you're not interested in. Those are tired shadows, yes. Alright, uh... Just to uh, fill in blanks for everybody. Once we're done with today's experiment, we have that long-awaited three-week vacation. I'm headed back to Xenon to spend time with my family. My daughter's birthday's coming up, you know? You're from Medina, right? I've been on this island for a year and a half now. Man, I've had enough. Aside from the man-made island with this research center, <laughs> there isn't a single island in the Sea of El Nido. If we manage to produce counter-time at will, we'll only be a step away from asserting control over time itself. Just hang in there a little longer. You said it. I can't believe we've come this far. So see, this whole area had no islands. Just this... just this special island. It's a mystery. Shouldn't leave a job that you're less than satisfied with. To go to a uh, no, job that's very... Yeah, that kind of... That's just wasted effort. Unless the less than satisfying next job is just, like, phenomenal pay. You know? Then it, like, counterbalances it. But otherwise, no. No, you, you aim for higher. Not lower. Oh, shit. Three weeks off, that's possible? Depending on your job. I was like, why is it just Surge? Police, police. Okay. Megaton fist. Oh! I don't want to fight him. Surge, heal him. Oh lord. We <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this battle's whatever. La la la. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. Recovers the points large. He punches the shit out of me. I am. I'm not pleased. Oh lord. <laughs> I didn't see the lights. That sounds really weird. 200. Is he white? Okay. I don't like it. Um, here. Just have some green. Whew. Well, the job's is smooth, but pays 30 an hour. It's closer to home. Okay. Well, see, that's- you're- you gotta- you can't see my hands, but I'm making motions of, like, you gotta at least aim up. You know what I mean? You- 
You don't know how any of this works, you're just here for the ride. I have explained this to you, Zave, so many times. Okay, that's not as bad. I mean, still. Jeez. Enemy in the party have it, has an element, yep. And if the element appears in the grid, they get 12.5% attack increase. Yes. He's telling you right there, Zave. It's super easy. Right there. That's all the information you need to know. You got this. See the field effect? Whoa, whoa, I didn't mean to stop. Uh, how much did he punch me for? Like a billion million? Oh, do you have a. Do you have heal all? Anti yellow. Ooh, X Strike! That's cool, let's do that. So see, there's no, there's no more white, so he doesn't get a bonus. Neither do I if I do anything with this area. Bazooka! Why did he just dodge the bazooka? Well, I don't have a dodge button. Oh my god. Oh, I just need to heal you, Fargo. Got some healing? Here. Fargo. Fargo. Eh, come on, you stupid... Yeah, anyway, the field effect shows the elements that are on there. So if you had, like, there's two white elements, which I would like to very much remove because this guy is very strong. And, uh, which means he's going to kick my ass more. But I also don't have a lot of things I can do. You want to die? Do you want to? Oh. Where's my heal? There you go. Should you face would freeze and think that's a. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I wasn't expecting, like, Uber Robot. Save you're gonna throw hands if a robot comes at you. Um, I'm gonna run away. This game is lovely. If not a bit confusing, but it's still lovely. Can I, uh. Oh no, that's. No. Oh. Ah. Uh. I don't. This is probably not the right one to do, but I don't care. Hi, Clay Chap, how you doing? You've never seen Chrono Cross in action? game. To me, the best thing about it is the music. I just love the music of this game so much. Alright. Do you die now? Ha. Huh. 
Oh, that was a, a oh, that was like a, a boss dude. You know it doesn't start cro no. Negate physical. Ooh. Let's check that out. Uh, uh Yeah, it doesn't it's got the Chrono Trigger cast, but as like sideline sometimes mentioned uh kinda thing. Oh yellow? So many traps. Negate physical. Temporarily annuls foes' physical attacks. Only if an eight color is yellow. I don't. Damn it. Camera plays, you remember liking it much more than people give it credit? Yes, the music. The music's beautiful. I was one of those uh, jerks that was like, this isn't like Chrono Trigger. I don't like it. But I'm gonna play it and still kind of like it. <laughs> now I just enjoy it. Uh, I'm just trying to see what I have on here. Um. Increase uh, evade. Sure. Whatever. Oh yeah, you don't like the Dragon Ball Z art? It's got its charm. That's actually... Uh, yeah, Chrono Trigger was the first... Uh, my first introduction to Akira Toriyama's art. I remember when I saw Dragon Ball Z, I was like, oh my god, they look like, they look like they're wrong, tr the Chrono Trigger, and I was so excited, and then I, I realized. <laughs> oh, also, Claytrap, I'm like near the end, so if you don't want spoilers, I'm just giving you a fair warning, because I'm going to mumble about all the stuff I sort of figured out, but not really. And I don't want to ruin it for you. I want to be Chrono Trigger anime. Yeah. <laughs> Can I go in this way? Oh. A yellow brooch. It's okay? Okay. Just want to make sure. Yellow. Protection against anti yellow and yellow status effects. Okay. Spoilers. To be fair, well, I mean, yeah, I was gonna say if they're on a mute, they won't hear them, but they'll see them. Wait, okay. I was like, what color are my people? Can I go in here? Oh. There seems to be some trick to opening it. Excuse me, I don't feel like fighting. Go. Oh. Thank you. So is Glenn or Chrono supposed to be Trunks? Or one looks like him? No, it's just the Kira Toriyama style. Everybody looks very samey. Yes, I'll go down. Like, Magus is, is kind of like Vegeta. Chrono is like kind of Goku-y. Uh, Marl and Bulma are similar. Uh, Luka looks like... Um, it's a, it's a manga before Dragon Ball. I, I forgot what it's called. Oh, stop, stop. Press the button. Oh! I can. You played this in five days? Chrono's Vegeta. Everyone is Vegeta. I like Vegeta. <laughs> He's short and he's grouchy, and I think it's adorable. And I can't help it. Robo sewer wash. Uh, uh yeah. Oh, forget the robot. X to quit. Which one's X? Oh! Oh! Oh, look at me! Hello! Wah, wah, wah. Ayla? Ayla's launch? Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I died. <laughs> oh, it's cute, Save. Look at me! I'm a little robot! Hello! Beep boop. Do I do stuff? I probably have to press buttons. That makes sense.
You have to beat the original still. You got stuck in a wall on the chain part and couldn't get out. You need to replay it. It was kind of disheartening. Well, we got the internet now, so if you ever get stuck on anything, you just look it up. Anything over here? No. Can I jump? Probably not. I'm going against the float. Can I jump here? No. I'm a little robot. Doopy doopy doopy. Oh shit. Got a white brooch. Dave likes to be top robot. Also, Dave, you need to continue Hollow Knight, okay? Cure all. Cure all. No. Sorry, I was... Just gonna make sure there's nothing else. Oh, you fit like you glitched into the wall? That's weird. This is. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. I told you about the printer I had in high school that would, uh. randomly print for no reason a little, um. like a heart? It would just print a, a piece of paper and it would just print a heart. And that was it. And it was very confusing. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. No. Oh, God, I didn't mean to do that either. Sorry. The haunted printer memory is... it's cute, but scary. Anything else over here? Ooh. Yeah, it was just a printer that I wanted love. So I made it a... Like a habit... Until my last printer died. To always say thank you when my printer printed something. Although I'd be like, thank you, printer! Just in case. There you go. Just in case! I don't know. Obviously it's not the same printer I had in high school, but... I'd be like, thank you! This printer... I'm not I'm not friends with this printer that I got. He was an emergency replacement when my printer died, and uh, he's okay. He's cheap. He does what he needs to do. Oh, I should probably fight some people. Here, fight me. Hello. Do I need an upgrade? No, I'm good. I just use it to print printing labels, more or less, for now. <laughs> Arrow guard, okay. I've seen like those really super cool printers. They're like a grand and they print like freaking crazy quality stuff. I'm like, that's amazing. I don't need that, but I want it. But as someone who does art as like sculptures and keycaps and crafting, it's kind of, you know, it doesn't lead to digital printing or anything. But it would be, other no. No, it's not necessary at all. It's just cool. I see stuff that's cool and I'm like, I don't need that, but it's awesome. You know? Yeah, actually, the print I was just talking about, I can link it to you if you want later, Zave. Um, would be really good for photos for you. Forget me not pot. this stuff tells me someday medical book <laughs> I 
So it's not an item that I just got. Monsters to be used in doppelgang ability. Oh, that's cool. What? I just got rid of Sprig. Thanks, though. Alright, I feel like this is the correct way, so I'm not going this way. Remake black and white prints? Maybe this is the right way. Oh, no. Okay. Um... To my knowledge, the only uh, double tech you can do in this game is with Surge, him, and Glenn, the one I'm right next to, and I can do X-Strike. But I don't know of any other double techs in this game whatsoever, so as a general rule, no, there's no, there's no double or triple techs in this game. I mean, there might be, but I don't know them. There are others. I didn't know what they are though. Let's talk to the sad person. Perhaps what we're doing is wrong. If this experiment succeeds, we will be able to control time. We will have complete control over history and, in a sense, become like gods. If so, what meaning is there to the history of mankind? But it's too late now. We can't afford to fail in this experiment. If, for some reason, anything goes wrong, the anti-annihilation energy will probably overwhelm us. Who knows what the consequences may be? I can just be up here? Okay. So they were doing timey-wimey stuff here. Um, and they messed up. Pretty sure that's what happened. Come on, up the stairs. Ooh, stair sounds. Oh, jeez. Oh. I thought I died. I was like, oh god, the lasers are going to kill me. I figured the game wouldn't let me through. Release the lock. I hope you guys don't mind that I decide I don't feel like fighting anything. Yeah, I thought there, I thought it was going to stop me, and the fact that it let me through and then made a noise, I was just like, oh, it chopped me up, I'm dead. Are you still locked out? Are you locked out? Originally, El Nido was nothing but ocean. The El Nido archipelago is purely artificial, created by fate. It was a remodeling plan that took place 10,000 years ago. A plan to include islands, blessed with nature in the Sea of El Nido. The main island of El Nido, Dragon Earth Dragon Isle, Water Dragon I can't talk. Water Dragon Isle and Black Dragon Isle. The development of elements, using the energy of the natural world. The distribution of memory terminal devices called the records of fate that could monitor and guide people's lives. The research center staff, who had their memories of the future erased, left the center and began a life outside amidst nature. This is how fate's paradise came into existence. And for over 10,000 years, fate has been watching over and guiding the descendants of the staff who left this research center. Everything was in perfect harmony. That is, until 14 years ago, when a boy came into contact with the flame on the night of the storm. That's me! Oh. Hey! Thanks. Where was the- where was the lock release for the elevator again? My mind's been blanking out lately. 
Ruining 10,000 years of work. Well, I mean, th I, I think if the world didn't split, the world ends anyway. Time and space gets devoured or something. So, you know, I'm doing a good thing inadvertently by existing. I think. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Don't move me. Anyone here now? Hey. Haha. -ha. I did something. There's a mis there's a mysterious being inside? We have to bring someone here that knows what this is. I But it doesn't look like anything. How am I <laughs> How am I supposed to know? Okay. It's delightfully easy to uh Zave, I have uh I have this on entirely. It's the avoid enemies thing. That's why I said I hope you guys don't mind me basically avoiding the enemies because I don't really feel like fighting. Oh, what? Sorry. Enter lock release code. Hydrate. I will hydrate. You can't see me, but I'm hydrating. <sighs> Thank you. I don't know the release code. Okay, so if I get a release code, go over here. Why is this one orange? <laughs> I have no idea how to do that. I don't know how to make my arms move. <laughs> I don't know how. That's why I'm trying to learn. I open my mouth and say, yes, ah. Uh, I, f I guess I could figure it out. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm a dumbass. Excuse me, sir. I know they have, like, there's, um, I follow a VTuber resource. A B1, ooh. Um... Please present the Central Lab Zone registration card. I don't have that. Okay, never mind. A VTube resource like channel for on, on Twitter, so they have free resources. But I don't, I don't know how to make them work. Yeah, Mr. Bismuth, that's, I freaked out. I thought I was gonna get chopped up into you know. Little bits. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't go up here. I mean, what it does is it spawns a monster that you can see I'm ignoring them. Oh, Calzone was really good. Thank you. I ate half of it uh, yesterday and then I ate the other half for breakfast. And then I was super full. Can I use the rest of this then? Can I go to the third floor? Okay, I can. Uh, yeah, going to cross section. I ate it for breakfast, and then for dinner tonight, I will have more chicken and mashed potatoes. Breakfast calzone is good. Thank you, though. I'm trying to be good. Psychological intimidation. This looks safe. Slavos, our favorite angry tick monster. DNA records are poems and music. I'm not gonna read this. A, a, a D. Edenine and thymine, guanine and cytosine, rhythm and melody. Perhaps the DNA of the ones who make contact with the flame is recomposed by the sound they generate within. 
I wonder if life forms are just dreaming in an endless flow of music. Okay, buddy. Buttons? Who? <laughs> Humans and reptites. 65 million years ago, the reptites who evolved from the uh, from reptiles had developed their own unique civilization. This was long before the ancestors of humans, who evolved from primates, had developed their civilization. Excavations carried out on the central con continent of Xenon have revealed that the reptites already had advanced architectural skills in the prehistoric era. But Lavos' descent to the planet's surface and the ice age this brought about rang the death knell for the reptites and their civilization. After that, the reptites slowly disappeared from the stage of history. However, in the distant past, humans could have been defeated and well, defeated in the contest of evolution, and the reptites could have continued to develop. It is not unthinkable that such a timeline could exist in another dimension. Wink wink. Everything is purely a problem of possibilities, and the world is only stabilized by the viewpoint of the one who observes it. You saw something move in the background near my webcam area and instinctively thought it was Crow. <laughs> nope! <laughs> Crow will walk up and put his hand in front of, like, my eye and stuff and make me freak out. That is the- yes, Lavos is the main antagonist of both these games, actually. So, yes. <laughs> Lavos. <laughs> anyway, Lavos just causes a bunch of problems, but he also helped uh, evolve the cave people into actual humans. So, you know. Thanks. I guess. What is that dino pick? Ooh, rainbow shell. What this? Oh, this? Well, this is <laughs> this is what the uh, reptiles could have evolved into, obviously. In a roundabout fashion, yes. Thanks, I was still gotta kill you. Thanks for the magic and you know the evolution, but uh, you know you're you're evil. Excuse me, fighter jets. I need to explore some more. Does that? Okay. It's amazing that I have absolutely no memory of playing this part of the game at all. Oh, I don't Oh, he's a big boy. There's a big boy over there. You want some brains? Model of brain evolution. I can't wait till our brains are this big. That's exciting. Wait, model of brain what? Analysis. Come on. Brain behavior. Lower animal. Okay. Hello. Memory scanning and imprinting is not that difficult a thing. As a matter of fact, it is possible to simulate the thoughts and feelings of each individual. These are all just electric signals that flow around the circuitry of the brain, after all. Vessels of flesh can now be re reproduced through cloning. And the soul stored within these fleshy flesh fleshly vessels can be simulated as well. Thus, one could even go so far as to say that death itself no longer exists. However, this comes at the cost of the destruction of the individual, the loss of variation. In which case is there truly life where there is no death? We control human emotions by using neurotransmitters. That means that by manipulating the nerve, the nerve transmitters inside their brain, it's possible to control the feelings and even the personalities of humans. Fate uses the records of fate to connect directly to the brains of the humans with whom they come into contact. Fate not only imprints what actions the humans should take into their brains, but also rewrites their personalities and feelings. So, you know the save points in this game? 
the big triangles, like the first thing they tell you in the game, like a lady's like, ah, oh, the goddess of fate. Well, did we talk to her through the triangles? And then you save your game? Yeah, that's the big supercomputer fate can like brainwash you more or less and make you do stuff. So that's what this just said, I think. Hey, they're just like, how you doing? You like her? As I told everybody, she is a like, uh, pay for purchase VTuber. And I thought she was adorable, so I bought her. She's a cutie. Let me just finish the plot stuff here real quick. Oh, so how you doing? The life forms on this planet developed from single-celled microorganisms to protozoans. Then from fish to amphibians, from reptiles to mammals, and eventually to humans. Beginning with a cerebral neocortex, which only exists in higher mammals, the anthropod brain enlarged at an accelerating pace until it became the human brain we know. Could the reason for the abnormal development of the human brain be the biological contamination caused by lavos? Then it follows that humans are really a heterogeneous life form, or foreign matter, as far as the planet is concerned. Humans are a sudden mutation caused by the contact with lavos, an alien life form that fell to this planet from space. That is why humans are, biologically speaking, unbalanced and incomplete. Internally inconsistent and disconnected, human existence is plagued by contradictions. An incomplete species, torn between love and hatred, whose very being is self-contradictory. I think I read that pretty well. Thank you. Mwah. Isn't that how purchases are? What I'm saying is this isn't a unique VTuber model. You know, I didn't like commission it and it's mine. I found it, uh, I think it's off like Nazima, and you know, it was like, pay this, you can use it. And I was like, oh yeah, absolutely. That makes sense. I also like, I could show you the other VTuber models if you want. You just have to say so. The humans already existed when Lavos landed? No, 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 no. See, they weren't humans per se they are called apes so they were you know dumb cavemen people see and then we got real smart real fast because we accidentally touched lavos and then lavos is like i'm gonna evolve you and that's what happened yeah pre-made there you go thank you i couldn't think of the word <laughs> it's pre-made i still had to buy it though Anyway, I think she's adorable, and I'm a big fan, and I'm... Uh, I also am a huge, huge fan of not spending an hour to get ready for stream, so you're gonna have to probably take a picture and remember what I look like, because I'm probably gonna VTube a lot. Sorry. I always cooked all their food, and the lack of parasites allowed them to grow bigger veins. Yeah. Duh. It's caveman bigger... <laughs> Alright, do I wanna... Oh, hi. Excuse me. Oh, it's not gonna fight me because I have it off. Hold on. Fight me? Yes. You're never gonna see me again! <laughs> no, I'll still show up for art streams. You just- it's- I just hate having to take like an hour to get ready. Did you just punch him? Go ballistic! Like, what's up? What's going on? Steel? My stream with no makeup and no one said a word about it. I look like a potato right now. I am so potato faced. It's it's sad. Aww. Also, I think VTubers are cute.
Let's see how much damage that did. Who doesn't like potatoes? Uh, me, when I look like one. Basically, I just like not having to get ready for so long, and uh, VTubers are cute. That's about it. Uh, elements. Not items. I've been playing this game for a while now, and I still go to items to... to try to use stuff. Wait, no. What am I doing? Use. Thank you. Keep me... Ooh, Hellbound. That sounds... Evil? I have that already. Never mind. Send the enemy to hell. Okay, so I did plot stuff here. Any buttons I have to press? I've explored all of level th three. All right, uh, floor. Yes, I like it too. You wake up, slump yourself in a chair with bed hair and boogers in my eyes. You'd be like, "There's our awesome friend." Okay, I appreciate that. I am my worst critic. I know. I can't help it. Okay, that looks important. Bored now. I just rip your skin off. That's what you do, IRL? Oh lord. Everyone, gather around. Let's see. In the 11th century, a scientist by the name of Luca yes. <laughs> indicated the possibility of time travel through the use of a time egg, which utilizes miniature black holes. Whether this could actually be possible or not is still the subject of intense debate, and no conclusions have been made. According to her theory, by rotating a single point of supergravity, time-space continua can be drawn in, thus making it possible to transform that singular point, which pulls in everything else, into a ring formation. Using this ring as a gate between dimensions, it should be possible to travel back and forth between various space-times. Time eggs may have already existed during the reign of the ancient dynasty we heard legends about. We shouldn't have to rely on theories from an ancient civilization that may not have even existed. We can do this ourselves. But the legends say they altered time by using a time egg. That's just a legend. There isn't even any uh, evidence to prove that this ancient dynasty ever existed. The experiment should be starting soon. After we discovered an unusual gravitational field in the barren sea of El Nido, we built artificial islands and established Chronopolis. This was all done to facilitate our top secret research. But now our research is about to come to its end. Once the final adjustments are made, the experiment will commence. It's just a matter of time, so everybody should keep up their good work. The chief hasn't returned yet. He hasn't? Then we'll have to hold off until he gets back. Time is not absolute, but elastic. It is both relative and subjective. Individual differences emerge as time changes. Perhaps people, all life forms, exist in their own separate strands of time. Is time independent, marching to the beat of its own drum? Pah, ridiculous. Your hands smell like vinegar and paint. Okay. Hello. 
We're conducting a simulation of phase shifting. No, don't breathe in those fumes. Speak to me, please. This institution was established under the utmost secrecy by the central government. We may appear to be a military research center, but the actual subject of our research is time itself. Okay. The lost ancient magic civilization of Zeal. If it really did exist, some someone may have even traveled through time to this period. It was me! <laughs> I did that. Excuse me. Pressing button. Oh. Oh. oh! You messed up the paint? Jeez. I'm just telling you, magic eraser works pretty good too. Haha, <laughs> give me the goodies. Magnify. I think it would be a funny Easter egg if they gave like the enemies uh like dialogue, because they knew there would be some jerk like me who's like, I'm not fighting anything. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to the enemies. I'm glad you like the VTubing. No, the magic eraser is really good. Legit. Um, so you don't get XP. You just like gain hit points after every battle usually. Like you get a hit point permanently. I just don't want to do it. Wear gloves? I mean, that makes sense, but I don't know why. The experiment will begin soon. Please withdraw to your designated positions. We will do the same in case of an emergency. Okay. I can't go in there? Rude. Extremely abrasive chemicals in it that'll irritate the sh- It has chemicals? I didn't know that. Can I go to B1 now? I thought it was just a foam- like a foam sponge that had a texture on it that worked. Oops. <laughs> yeah, we're both like, oh, whoops, shit. I did not know that. Alright. Okay, well that's, um... What kind of chemicals are in it? So as you're gonna tank hits and heal, have... Yeah, well, I do fight. Occasionally. I just uh, don't feel like fighting now. I can't believe I had to read that. Uh, alright, where am I going? Oh! I did it! I can't go in here. Alright, never mind. D uh... I don't know. Yeah, I've... I've used it, and, uh... Please, excuse me. What's this way? There's just a sad dude. I can save, actually. It would be good.
Yeah, oopsies. I mean, I never used it for dishes, but I did just use it in, like, normal areas. Anything over here? The sad dude? Okay. What the hell am I supposed to be doing now? I was so involved in trying to really absorb the plot of this uh, that I, I, I probably missed something. You ate Lunchables as a kid? Time to wander around some more, I guess. You know, excuse me. See, and then I'd have to fight all these guys all over again. I don't want to do that. Come on, open. I wonder if that matters. I wonder if it matters if I go in the other way. You would? I ate, I ate donuts for breakfast. When I was a kid, my mom didn't give me breakfast. She just, like, I would wake up and get, you know, get taken to school. And then, like, I remember I was really hungry in the first grade or something, and, like, I had a stomach ache. I was super hungry. So my teacher gave me, um, saltines? And I'm pretty sure she talked to my mom after that. <laughs> And uh, so my mom made sure I always had food in the morning, which was a donut. I always had a donut in the morning. I want to check something real quick. Got the list of chemicals. Uh, melamine foam. Using compound called formaldehyde, melamine, sodium, bisulfite, copolymer. But is that a chemical or is that just what the with the, uh, sponges. Thank you for sharing that. Future kid, damn it. Well, my mom worked a lot, so. Yeah, I thought it was micro sandpaper, essentially. Oh, this is the button. I wanted to press this button. Can I press it? No. Okay. That was me just checking that. You gave us a scare mess business. No, there's nothing in there. It's just the texture of the foam. You, ah, the, I'm not going to do that. It'd be kind of weird. And I don't know what kind of grit it is. So yeah, my mom gave me donuts in the morning. And then for lunch, I would get... um Like a bag of chips and like a candy bar. I was really lucky I was a gymnast because I just burned it all off, but you really shouldn't do that for kids. Oh, hey, I never read this. An extraterrestrial life form that is thought to have fallen from the heavens 65 million years ago. On the time timeline that existed before history was changed, Lavos was assumed to have slept deep below the planet's surface. Sleeping and consuming the planet's energy up until the day of destruction known as the Apocalypse. There are those who believe that 12,000 years ago, the legendary ancient magical civilization known as Zeal came into contact with Lavos. That fateful encounter is said to have resulted in Zeal disappearing from the surface of the planet within the space of a single night. However, the very existence of the ancient civilization of Zeal has never been proven, so the theory cannot be confirmed to this day. On some timelines, Lavos appeared on the surface of the planet in the year 1999 and brought the world to ruin. However, a group of young time travelers saw where their planet's history was heading and through their actions, rewrote time. Hell yeah, they did. You got tired of Pop-Tarts? You had toast? So you got Pop-Tarts for a decade? Well, I got snacks until I hit high school and then because I didn't really uh, apply myself in high school, Basically, I, I did as little as I possibly could while passing. Uh, my mom just stopped feeding me altogether. So then my friend Tim, I would, <laughs> during lunch, I'd beg him for a dollar for like all of senior year and be like, Tim, you have a dollar, I want a bagel so I could eat. <laughs> I owed him so much money. I did pay it off eventually, but, <laughs> but he gave me a dollar almost every time. And I was like, thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. I'm hungry. <laughs> 
Tim is a real- Tim? OG real one. Tim is the best. Imagine being born in 1999. That would be nice. Yeah, bagels. <laughs> Hi, dragons. I wish bagels were still a dollar. You only ate lunch, and during high school you only ate dinner? Yeah, it was... It became a kind of fend for yourself. Um, does anyone know what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm wandering around night. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. If anyone knows, you can tell me. I'll look it up in a minute. I'm just kind of talking with you guys. So, that was my high school experience. I understand why my mom, you know, uh, stopped feeding me. Uh, but, you know, I was still hungry. <laughs> I also had a job most of the time, so she's like, just buy your food and feed yourself. But, usually the jobs I had were seasonal, so I'd have a little bit of money and then it'd go away. T <laughs> Thank you, that's very helpful. I'm just gonna look it up. Give me a second. <laughs> Chronopolis. Chronopolis. Unlock the door. I did. Open the hatches. Oh, I'm gonna cheat and look at this, hold on. <laughs> you'll find each hatch is coded. With only the rightmost hatch open, you'll need to enter a code to unlock the door to get a recharge. If you're having trouble, you wish this solution table as well. Oh. I got that, I got that. Take the elevator. Oh. Card key. Where's the card key? Obviously that's what I'm missing. Talk to everybody? On the fourth floor, one of the rooms is blocked off by the ghosts. Pay this no mind for now and head to the room on the right. You'll encounter a meeting of ghosts. Learning a little more about the world, you can access the stairway from here. Head over and speak to the ghost. What ghost? Is that the chief? Oh, go to the first floor. Oh, okay. Go back. I did stuff out of order then, I guess. They've been holding it the entire game. Give Mag feedback. What is that? That's something Twitch introduced. If you want to give me feedback, please do it. Everybody, click the give Mag feedback because I want to see what that looks like and no one's done it. It's 1 a.m. Go to sleep. Oh, cheat. <laughs> Clean chap. Take a... Take some rest. Wow. Get some rest. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. The robot... <laughs> the robots are hanging out. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't see it on mod view? Excuse me, robots. Okay, we're gonna go back to the first floor, because uh, I'm supposed to talk to the guy that was here. Again, I guess. I don't know. It's just five options and you could only choose three? Why only three? I've seen it! Oh. Okay, I will uh, I'll look to see if I see the f feedback stuff after stream. I figured it would just give me like a email report where it's like, your viewers say this about your stream, and I'd be like, oh cool, thanks. All right, it says to talk to him again. The Time Research Lab, which served as the foundation of this research center, appeared out of nowhere in the year 2300 AD and was headed up by the scientific genius Belthazar. <laughs> However, at the peak of his career, he simply vanished. We've continued his work and have come this far. My work is almost complete. Well, it's about time I headed back. The experiment's about to begin. <sighs> Games like this where combat is optional and perhaps even undesirable kind of weird you out. Seems like Final Fantasy- I mean, I- I could be fighting, I don't want to. No, I, Twitch doesn't go in the spam folder, so it wouldn't be there. You didn't get a text box? I'm glad. <laughs> I mean, this would have just been twice as long because I'd have to keep fighting everything. 
And I don't really want to do that. I want to advance the plot. It's just there's plot triggers that I don't know about, and so I would have just been wandering here even more. Okay, now it says I can go this way, I think. See? I how am I supposed to know that? I talked to everybody. I didn't know I'm supposed to talk to the dude in the first floor again. Bullshit. Weird thing to you lately where you'll be typing a chat message in the channel and the text box will vanish. That's weird. I don't know anything about that. Okay. Oh! Look at all these dirty save points. Fate is a large scale prototype completed in the year 2300. It integrated the old mother brain computer circuitry into a more powerful supercomputer. Fate contains a massive amount of historical data, dating up to the year 2400. Computer of Chronopolis is called Fate. Oops. This is the observation room. This is where we observe the two parallel worlds. You're out of your death, you need a well traveled space bound. This is a different mother brain. She's surrounded by screens and she is destroying the human uh, species. Or something. Aww, OJ, that's sweet. Let's fight, buddy. Come on. And <laughs> in regards to battle in this game, I'm mainly in it for the plot now. I just want to know what's going on. what the folks in the big brain industry want, do you think? Yeah? Oh, I'm berserk. You red? Can I... Actually, that's not so bad. I'm being a scaredy cat. Come on, Fargo. Spells. I have luminaire. Meow. Yes. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't think it is. He's just. He's just the dude in the way. Surge. Oh, Surge has no stamina. <laughs> See how much this cures. Okay. 
Yes. Oh, he's so strong. Yes. No, I didn't get a little star or something, so it's not a boss fight. Give me card key. Oh, I'm burned. Run is good. <laughs> it all began with a notebook my mother handed me. She told me she found it while cleaning out the closet. This old notebook, covered with mold, was a diary that belonged to my grandfather, who passed away years ago. It contained his distant memories. Does this device have playback archives? Looks like someone's memoirs. I wonder if you still remember how we first met and our many adventures. It all seemed like a dream. We ran like the wind during those warm summer days long ago. You were a piece of a star that fell from the sky. I can still relieve the mem yeah, relive the memories of those days long past. Just by closing my eyes like so and whispering your name into the desolate night. Kid. Kid. Radical dreamers. What's this? Radical dreamers? What does this mean? There's a conversation with a comrade. Are you ready, kid? I know you're anxious, but stay on your toes. Yeah, likewise, mate. You mess up and I'm leaving you behind. Got that, Serge? Come on, Majil, let's go. That bastard Lynx is gonna get what he deserves. Say your prayers. Not it'll do you any good. It seems to be an archive from a different time than our own. Aside from the two worlds we already know about, other worlds and times may also exist. Okay, great. Time to go to the basement, I guess. Excuse me, excuse me, thank you. So what world are we on? We are in another world. Uh, I think. I don't know. <laughs> in this game, we only have two worlds we have to worry about. I don't want to fight you. feel about... what do I have on here? How do you feel about Luminaire? Mm -hmm. I need to heal. Okay. 
Good. <laughs> Jesus, just Jeez. Oh, finally you're gonna die. No, you're not. <gasps> Are we all berserk? Are just berserk, so we'll just make do. <laughs> you just get up, you ding. Just get up, you dingus. What are you doing? Why are you? Uh... I swear I had more heal alls, but I don't. So. Fire on these guys, you dumbass. <laughs> okay. Hey, Surge, I got you back. about to heal a surge and you have to go and just I guess I could run away if I really wanted to. Let me let me do that again and not um, die. Thanks. No, we're not a cat boy anymore. Excuse me, I need to heal. Hi, Rilkas, how you doing? Welcome. Uh, uh, I've never had to worry about healing outside of battle. Yes, uh, we're not a, a cat boy anymore. We uh, we we fix that. How's the game? Game's good. No, this was the stream. It was like an hour or two in, I think. Right now, I'm in Chronopolis, and I am. There we go. Give me some cure all. And uh, we got a whole bunch of plot stuff, and now I have to fight some robots. And I didn't really set my elements too well, so I'm going to... <laughs> You're the one with all the curing, okay. So I'm just gonna see if I have more stuff to... A lot of cure pluses. I swear I had more, like, heal alls. Maybe... Oh, you know what? Did you have them all? Overall, you have them all. I don't want you to have them all. Here, have a cure plus or something. There you go. You get. Where do you go? 
this game. Heal all. There we go. This game's hard to follow. I can explain it if you need me to. Right now I'm in... Uh... Oh. I don't have to fight you. Bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I stand on this? Only personal personnel registered as Arbiter may enter. Please conduct a security check for verifications. Unauthorized entry or tempering with security system will result in death. Operate at your own risk. That's me. Fingerprint and retina scan required. Please step inside the circle and hold up your left hand. Okay. Analyzing. Please stand by. Analysis complete. Fingerprints, retina, and C-class DNA all clear. Data discrepancy due to aging within permissible range. 96% confirmation that this individual is the last registered arbiter. Access granted. Welcome back, Chrono Trigger. So that's why. So that's why Link's needed Surge's form. Link's must be already in or inside already. Yes. Along with the frozen flame. Uh, I'll probably get my butt kicked. You feel like you missed most of it again? I can answer questions. Feel free. Kind of. Where are we? Is that the frozen flame? Exactly. I was a kid. The hero of people's prayers, the provider of riches, fame, and power. The bestower of eternal life, the promiser of peace and happiness. This is the essence of what descended from the heavens in the prehistoric age. The living crimson stone, the frozen flame. Lynx! What took you so long? You had me worried. Worried that you might have perished on the way here. I almost did. Are you alright? It's no use. I put her soul to sleep. I had to remove any potential obstacle from us having this talk. Who are you? What are you after? You still don't know. I am the human incarnation of fate. The living interface of the fate computer system. Or put simply, I too am fate. What? Fourteen years ago, on the night of a terrible storm, the cogs began to turn. That night, Wazuki and Miguel set out to sea, carrying a sick child in their boat. That child was you, Serge, after you had been attacked by that panther demon. Your poisoned wounds were beyond the healing abilities of the doctors in Termina or even Goldove. So they set sail to Marvel in order to see the sage there, not knowing how bad the storm would become. Being skilled sailors, the two men were able to survive the storm. But they were blown off course and came ashore on this island, where they decided to seek shelter. At the time, this research center was offline due to the severity of the storm. It only took ten minutes for the system to power back up, but by then the flame had found you. Contact with the flame healed your young body, but that was not all. Your opinion is terrible, OJ. Once the security system was rebooted, it would only grant access to you, the Arbiter. You can't imagine the trouble this caused the Fate computer system in achieving its objective. Inside of Fate, 
There was a standalone circuit that had been kept hidden since the old Mother Brain generation. Mm. That circuit was designed to start a malfunction, or more precisely, a rebellion. Who would have thought that such a small bug, a traitor, could exist inside of Fate? That hidden circuit was based on the initial ash tier model circuit board, with extra logic added by another scientist. Fate itself did not realize that the circuit was present within the core of its system, or more correctly, the circuit was programmed so that the moment Fate did detect it, it would erase all record, record of its detection. Dr. Luca Ashtier, unbelievably intelligent and incredibly enthusiastic. You might even go so far as to call her a mad scientist. Of course, I don't think it was she who impl implemented her theory. This was most likely the work of Balthazar, the first curator of the research center. Fate, bring out the traitor. Bring out Prometheus. <laughs> Affirmative. Yet Luca's last name's Ashtier. Ah, you have finally released me. <laughs> Welcome back. So you're the real Surge. I've waited a long time for you. I'm glad you made it in time. Surge, I beg you. Please bring an end to the enmity between fate and the dragons. Fate! Eliminate him. That's kid on the floor. Affirmative. Now eliminating Prometheus. No, you cannot. Surge, please. For the future of mankind. For... For the... The future... Idiot! Destruction to those who oppose the goddess of fate. Lynx, why you... Ha, ah, come, Surge. Oh, oh. Ugh. Show me what the purpose of your life on this planet is. Teach me what it means to be alive. Okay. Uh, yes, the songs are definitely in my art music playlist. Chrono Cross is some really good, freaking good music, in my opinion. Fate is... okay. This is why you don't just... Alright, I was trying to read plot stuff. Did I miss anything? Commencing countdown. Hey, you did it for me. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, sure, you know what? I never use this stuff. Does it work? Oh, it worked. Come on. Okay. I don't like the countdown, it makes me nervous. Steel. No oh, stealing. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay. Uh, this is the supercomputer Fate, or something like that. She just, uh. She killed Robo. That's what the Prometheus circuit was. It's very upsetting. Oh my god! Jeez!
sorry. This delay sometimes just absolutely destroys me. Uh, how are you, how are you doing? Do you have anything important I want to eat? Okay, so. Feed your cat, but he's sleeping on you. Uh, you gotta just gotta pick him up. He'll get bored and walk away. That's not how cats work. He will fall even more asleep. That looks... Okay. Oh! Oh, you're just gonna keep doing it. Okay. Comfortable? Look, you just gotta learn to pick him up, put him down. I have darkness. I don't have anything. I'll just. We'll attack anyway. You can hit. Alright, you can't hit. You can hit though. Surge, defend. Oh, you have darkness too? Maybe you just can't hit. I don't know. Lordy! Oh, I died. I'm gonna lose. Surge is dead. He had my revives. Wait! Do you have revive? Oh, I did it. <laughs> oh, it was a pillow? Mm hmm. Tenchi was like that. Foes magic attacks. I should probably do that when they're doing the crazy stuff. You're not undead. Uh, oh, you like some asteroids? On my hand? Tenchi like to sleep on like the crook of my neck? Like how you would hold a telephone? in bed and then he would like to fart on my on my head when he got really comfortable. Temporarily multiplies element damage by 1.5. Does this do it to everybody? 
I don't understand. All enemies and allies. Okay, it does. Yes. I took it as a compliment, even though I, I hated it. Oh, you know what? Oh, actually... I could have... Oh, She's gonna cast something dark and get rid of my special field. Alright, well... Oh, well. Lupin be the one that... Lupin and uh, Timber like the spoon. Oh, you bitch. And eventually, because Timber got so old, I let him be the, the little spoon, and then Lupin would just lay on my chest, so I would be covered in cats when I slept. Damn it, I ruined my own field. Oh well. I'm sorry, Serge. Um, we, we need to heal some more again. Ah. Makes me feel better. Kibbles or wet food? Oh, yeah, that's the. Oh, shit. Um. Yeah, that picture, it was Tenchi on my pillow, Timber tucked in being the little spoon, and then Lupin on my chest. So. Uh. Maybe I can, uh. Oh, Glenn. Get, get over here, Glenn. Got some good healies. Wait, 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 what kind of healies do you have? It'll, it'll... No, you don't have any good healies. Man, I suck at this. All right, we want to attack. Ah. The sun is directly in my eye. Is that your eyes? Yes. Thank you. Did it did. No, this is not the final boss. You do a bit of dry, wet, and then a splash of water since he doesn't drink much. Okay. Alright, that healed me. random encounters. As long as I can beat the bosses, I'm fine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so easy. Uh, good. Oh, how could you? I, Fate, the goddess of fate, was not meant to die. blazes am I? Serge, what happened to me? Aha! That, that's it.
No. Ne touche pas. Do not touch it. Kid, I know the feelings you have inside of you. The urge to bring everything and to nothing is now stronger than your desire to save everyone. You may want to throw yourself off the cliff of destruction. That is your imperatif. S'il vous plaît, kid. Do not drag Serge and the others down into destruction with you. Shut up, you loony. I know what I'm doing. It's too late. There's no turning back now. That's Harl. She's a secret dragon. And the other one is Kid. She's a clone of Shala. Fate has fallen. Fate has died. Rawr. Finally, the time has come. Indeed, the long, endless night shall finally come to an end. What do the dragons do? They combine and they make a Megatron. Now for mankind. Voltron, whatever. I shall make you bleed! Feel a million years of this planet's agony, pain, and suffering. Yeah, they were like, hey, sure, you can fight us and we'll give you stuff. Um, and now we're gonna kill you. This is gonna get loud. Where's my volume control? Terra Tower. It's come back to life again. In the year 2400, during a counter-time experiment, the flame goes out of control. This causes the dimensions to rip apart, resulting in the time crash. Engulfed in an enormous dimensional vortex, Chronopolis was hurled 10,000 years back in time. Maybe this was Lavos' doing. Maybe he saw the possibility of his being destroyed by the adventures of 1999 and decided to create a new outcome in order to escape destruction. And so when the experiment took place, Lavos pulled the frozen flame back to the ancient past, where he was only just awakening. But that ain't all. At the same time, another city from a different dimension's future was also thrown back in time. Dinopolis, the future city of the Reptites, Azala's descendants who had evolved more closely with the planet. Just as Lavos, in an attempt to save itself, summoned Chronopolis from the distant future, perhaps our planet summoned Dinopolis back into the past, maybe as a measure against Chronopolis and humanity. It wasn't the dragon gods who sealed away the frozen flame. What actually happened is that fate used the flame to divide and seal the dragons. And now that fate has been defeated, the dragons will join together again to start the revenge. Like I said, Megatron. <laughs> Look at the little chunky boys. Oh, we're gonna get loud again. Sorry. Uh, uh, fine, fine, fine. Oh, 
Voltron? I keep saying Megatron. Well, whatever. They're now a big super dragon. Megazoid. There you go. That's what happened. Of course. I feared it would come to these. I didn't want to have to fight with you if I could have been avoided. I do, Search. I do. Why does it look like a spine with wings? I don't know. If combined and got really ugly. Looks like a big turd with wings, but I guess that happens. Give me a freaking break. You mean to tell me we were being used all this time? <laughs> yeah. Damn. What is done is done, although we may not like it. In any case, we need to make our way into that floating tower. <laughs> I see your messages and they just kill me. Yes, we cannot just twiddle our thumbs and do nothing. The only problem is... So we have to find a way up there, right? It's not like the great SS Invincible can make it up there either. There has to be a way. Yes, the world has infinite possibilities. There has to be something that will help us reach that tower. Hmm. At least our objective is clear. I do not know how, but we must find a way. So, like, whatever happened to Kid after that? Doesn't look like she'll ever wake up. Indeed. She is resting at Radius's place. Well, at least she can rest quietly there. Plus, Radius will watch over her. Her spirit seems to be possessed by the past. A powerful item is necessary in order to dispel it. Something like the Dragon Tear? Or the Moss Immune? Yes. No use just moping around here. Indeed, we have much to do. However, time will not wait. Then we have to take action. Let's shove off, mateys. Yeah! I like my party. Thank you. Who is this guy? Who are you people? <laughs> I've not seen these people once. I swear. These are all my party members. Imagine naming your kid Radius. Almost as bad as Merlin. I can't tell you a single, sing a single thing about Chrono Trigger other than that there was Frog Splitting the Mountain and Luca. I have played Chrono Trigger like five times on stream. How do you not know? Every time you come into a Chrono Trigger stream, I tell you the plot, Zave. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. Every time! So we, uh, we destroyed a computer and, um, the dragons combined to make the uber dragon. And now we gotta... we gotta fight him. And then, uh... Something. This is my son Radius and my daughter Diameter. Oh my god. The pearly gates do not open for that information. Okay, well... Sorry, dude. Alright. This is a good place to, uh... It's a good place to end stream for now. Alright, we are really getting towards the end of the game now.
I think basically I have to beat the, the dragon god and then I have to go fight the time devourer and do like that whole thing I actually never ever did in any of the Chrono Cross playthroughs, which is uh, activate the, the, the chron Chrono Trigger? Time Egg? Something? I even have... or the Chrono Cross? <laughs> I don't know. I even have the colors written down so I don't have to worry about it. I don't know if they're right though, I didn't check. But yellow, red, green, blue, black, white. <laughs> so, here's hoping. You're used to the VTuber now? Good. Here, I'll sh shuffle my face over here a little more since I'm looking this way. <laughs> Before I go, I can show you guys the other... the other VTubers if you want to see them. There is... Slime? Hi! Hello! I am a slime. That's- that's about it. It's just a slime. <laughs> and then there's... Wood save. Yes, yes, thank you. Likes to call, um... Demon Mommy. I can use this time and opportunity to... Fix this. Excuse me. <laughs> Three links? Oh yes, I will check them. Don't worry. Um, sometimes I'm slow at it though. Let me fix my... I thought I, I fixed this, but I'm gonna fix it again. Oh no, I didn't. Crop right. Okay, crop left. Crop right is too right now. Damn it. Crop left. Oh, I actually have to move her physically. I don't want to do that, but I will. Excuse me. Thanks for sure. No problem. Thank you guys for hanging out. As uh, janky as it is. Also, while I press buttons here. <laughs> This uh, is just something I meant to do and I haven't done. Why is this so large? Uh, this is the end of stream for me this week. I will be on next week. Doing the normal stuff. Look. Oh. Alright. There's a lot here. Hold on. Hey. There you go. We're getting there now. Real. Hold on. This is very tedious. <laughs> Thank you for the announcement. I'm having fun with Corner Cross, even if I don't know what I'm doing. Plot wise. There you go. Do 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 do. Yeah, I'm done. You missed everything. You get to tune in for the me f fixing, uh, just fixing this part right now stream. Sorry, Marish. I'm showing the glory of cropping. All right, close. There we go. Yay. And fixed. Anyway, this is Demon Mommy, or that's what Dave likes to call her. Rawr. She's kind of cool too. Anyway, sorry. Yes, I changed the heart. I got a. Uh, I got. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't fix this. Hold on. <laughs> Oops. Well, you know what? Maybe I just don't push up. I got some official ones. I didn't feel like making them, so I bought them. And they were uh, adorable, so I figured it's a nice compromise. There we go. This should be good for now. I know you like the old one, but I wanted something that didn't look like uh, just drawn crap, so that is my compromise. I also, in case anyone didn't notice, I got um, different two-year-plus badges. 
They're all like little cakes and stuff. I think they're adorable. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna raid anyone. Mm -hmm. Pause. Oh, nobody that I want to raid is on. Okay. Yes, I got little cakes. Uh, so the um, the espers, the uh, magicite is still the same. And then once you get to one year, I think I put it on. <laughs> uh, it changes into little cakes. And then when you get to like four year, it changes to crystal hearts, which I thought was kind of cute. So I just switched that. Uh, I give credit to the person, but they don't require credit. And I had to individually download like 60 images from them and it pissed me off. So I was like, I'm not crediting you because I'm petty, so that's about it. All right, here's my socials. Feel free to follow me on any of that if you want. Um, I should be back hopefully on Tuesday. If not, it'll be Wednesday and Thursday again. Wednesday will be art. Thursday will be Chrono Cross. If it's Tuesday, Tuesday will be art. And then Wednesday and Thursday will be Chrono Cross because I want to finish the game, so. Uh, if you haven't followed, please feel free to follow. They are anonymous, so you can just sneak in and do it. That way you know when I'm live. I think that's everything. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. Thank you for support. Hi, Vito. Hi, Vito. Yeah, you're late. Yep. That's okay. I'll be back. If you need a whole lot of crap downloaded, let you know. You might be able to orchestrate something. Okay. Thanks. Dave, why did you copy-paste this? That's weird. Well, anyway, uh, that's all I got. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Uh, you wanted to make them bullet points. I can't, like, I don't know how to make it lined up nicely. I don't know if you can. If you know, let me know. I'll fix it. I have no problem fixing it. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. So, uh, I will see you guys next week, and I hope you have a good weekend, and I will see you later. Bye-bye!